Hey everybody, hey YouTubers, hey Instagrammers. I'm getting ready to do a brownie, fudge brownie recipe. It will take two eggs. I'm going to do actually the sea salted caramel. And I got a couple of white chocolate chips as well that I'm going to put in there. And some chopped pecans. Over here we're going to melt a half a stick of butter. And we have a cup of sugar for the brownie recipe with two tablespoons of brown sugar. You can also melt your butter in the microwave. I just did it this way. When your butter is done melting, um, you shouldn't have to measure it. It should be a half a cup if it's one stick of butter. I haven't did this in a while, so I'm actually going to measure it just to be sure. I'm going to just put it back into my measuring cup. And then, of course, I'm going to add two tablespoons of peanut oil. You can also add, like, Crisco oil. Um, you can even do olive oil, but I, I probably wouldn't do that because it can, you know, taste a little bit like, um, like stir-fry, I would say. It just depends on what you want to use. If that's the only thing you have, then that's fine. But, yeah, this should be a half a cup of butter there, so... We have our sugar. I'm just going to go ahead and break the, the brown sugar up. And then we're going to add the melted butter. And we're going to go ahead and add the oil. Two tablespoons of the oil to that. We're actually almost done here melting this. So I'm going to go ahead. just going to pour it in my measuring cup. Just to be sure that I have enough. Sometimes it can stick to the pan a little bit. You want exactly um, a half a cup of that. See, actually, that's a little more than half of a cup. Which is kind of strange. That should do just fine, though. So, yeah... I'm just going to go ahead and take a pinch of that out of there so I can get exactly the right measurement. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my oil right in this cup. I'm going to go ahead and stir this for about a minute, and then we're going to add our vanilla and our two eggs. So we have our teaspoon of vanilla. Like I said, you just want to kind of whisk this for about a minute until it's nice and glossy and all the sugar is um, mixed in. But you don't want to over whip it or, you know, stir it, you know, like you're crazy. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and add both the eggs. I'm actually going to add one at a time and just stir it for like maybe 25 seconds and then add my other egg to this. So in here I have my chocolate powder and my flour, which would be a half a cup of flour and then a half a cup of chocolate powder. So it'll equal one cup of that. I usually use the Hershey's uh, cocoa unsweetened and then of course the flour, like an all-purpose flour there and I'm just going to go ahead and mix this up and I'm going to add one fourth teaspoon of salt to this so now we're going to go ahead and sift in our flour mixture you can literally sift it in if you want to like with a sifter but it, it works this way too it'll just take more time to stir this and of course, it's going to look strange at first, and it's going to act like it ain't going to want to stir in, but it will eventually, you know, mix into this. I'm going to go ahead and do that, and we'll be back. And this is what we have. <clears throat> now, as soon as it starts to look like this, you want to stop mixing it. You don't want to overmix this. 
<clears throat> if you do over mix it, it'll be more like cake brownies. Um, I mean, there's nothing wrong with cake brownies, but this is more of a typical brownie uh, recipe, fudge brownie recipe. Now we're going to go ahead and fold in about maybe three-fourths of a cup, depending on to your liking. And then I'm going to do a couple of the chopped pecans. I'm going to probably do about maybe three-fourths cup of them. Actually, maybe like two-thirds of a cup of the chopped pecans. And then a little bit more of these. And you're, you're going to want to set your oven to 350. And these should take uh, about 25 to 30 minutes. Um, you can actually check them with a toothpick. You don't want them to be like real fudgy in the center, but you don't want them to be burnt either. You just want to, you know, test them and make sure that they're finished. Usually I like to leave mine in, mine in like five extra minutes, about 30 minutes. So I got my pan, sprayed it a little bit uh, with the cooking uh, spray, and we got our goodies all folded in, and we're just going to plop this into here and spread it out nice and evenly in the pan here. Sometimes you can beat it down a little bit just to get it even in the pan here. It's just sort of like spreading cake batter, really, to everything here. I want to try not to get any up on the sides, if you can help it. And if you want less fudgy your brownies, you can add like a fourth teaspoon extra of the flour. And you can add a tablespoon less of your oil. If you want more of a stiffer, you know, drier brownie. These are very fudgy, so like I said, they might take five extra minutes. But I would not overcook these at all. There we have it. I'm going to check and make sure that it's even around the edges here. And we're going to put that in the oven. Hope everybody enjoyed.